Hello, so I am here with Wanda! Crazy Days! And Deep South Homestead. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Yes. <laughs> so she has her own channel, Crazy Days. Mm -hmm. Her and Danny have Deep South Homestead. That's I how we... I wouldn't believe that. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So, we are here in Mississippi at their Deep South Homestead Spring Gathering. You got it! Finally, I've gotten it down after all these months. I know, months, I keep like, listening. Really, yes. she said, I'm going, she missed a word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or she's put two or three words together. Yeah, exactly. So we are having a blast. It has been so... Thank you for doing this. Oh, you're welcome for the butt wipes. I... <laughs> so she gave me some southern butt wipes. Bobs. But Bobs. Bobs. Bobs, to be specific. <laughs> Haven't tried them yet. They're all natural. <laughs> They're all natural. Even gluten-free, huh? <laughs> that could be frightening when you get in that department. <laughs> okay, so we're talking to Wanda because <clears throat> Danny has to be gluten-free. Yes. So... Tell me a little bit, if you don't mind, what are some easy ways, because I get this question all the time, I'm gluten-free. To me, it's not rocket science, people. No. We got a pump. Okay. Now, okay. Go ahead. It's not rocket science, but I like to interview other people because sometimes you guys have other tips. Now, for me, I just switched and ate potatoes and rice instead of bread. That's pretty much all I did. I just left out... You know the bread products I don't bake very much that kind of thing how did you guys do it and was it expensive were you able to do it cheap okay so what we did I flipped recipes even your recipes yep living on dime's got some great dining on a dime page 275 I'm sorry never mind that was wrong, wrong video so I took Tara's recipe and I do all recipes I look at them and I'm going okay I don't have that I can't use this I don't you know I like the yeah. recipe yeah but if it's not something I can use, I just flip it. I add something like, say, okay, I can't remember which recipe in yours, but I'll t give you an example. Last week, we use almond flour, mm -hmm. okay? The yep. almond flour is really, really expensive if you buy it in town. Mm -hmm. But we order it online from imanut.com. I'manut.com? Yes. Okay. And we take and get it in bulk, 25 pounds. When it comes in, I repackage it into gallon Ziploc bags mm -hmm. that I save because I'm frugal. Mm -hmm. I put them in the refrigerator, in the crisper drawer when I'm, they're empty. Well, that's what I was wondering. How do you keep that much from going rancid? I put my mine in the freezer. We okay. have to keep everything in the freezer because it's a nut. Uh, the 25 pounds will last us approximately six months. Okay. But I do baking. Well, you said you don't. I make biscuits. No. Oh, do you really? Yes, I've got a biscuit recipe. Uh, I do all our desserts, cookies, everything. With now, are these flour. in your cookbook? No, I'm going to do a new okay. one. Okay. Okay. we got to get a new one. I do some of them I have on Crazy Days, some of them I have on Deep South, and then like if a recipe, I take regular recipes and flip them, but now with almond flour, sometimes you have to add some coconut flour, yep. and it fixes it, but like the recipe today was sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. I used mashed sweet potatoes. And it was very good. Some sugar. Um, what did I add? Almond flour, and only a little almond flour. It doesn't have much, like half a cup, three quarters, two okay. uh, quart of sweet potatoes mashed then I added um, eggs mm -hmm. two to three eggs okay we're not specific right yeah yeah one egg two eggs three eggs if you have eggs or if you have no eggs do it without the eggs <laughs> you know I mean that's the way I do it yeah that's the way I do whatever it whatever I want to do yeah today it was egg yolks because they use my egg whites to do something else so we just okay. dump the egg yolks um, you bake it for a little while and it comes out in a dessert I yep. forgot the salt and bacon <laughs> they salt and baking powder, yeah. so it yeah. wasn't as fluffy as it should have been, but it was still like a like a pie. Okay. The almond gives it almost a pecan-like taste. I have pecan meal from Tanner's Pecans, <laughs> and I use that sometimes. Okay, it'll it can go in it. Um, the biscuits have um, it's a real simple. I just did it a video. I can't even remember like three four ingredients for mm -hmm. the biscuits. It's the closest to being an authentic biscuit. Really? I was going to try that recipe, but I haven't tried yeah, it yet. Because the biscuits I usually do turn out more like a cupcake. Yeah. And he eats them. Yeah. But this one is actually a biscuit-like. Really? Yeah. So okay. it's, it's got I mean, egg I whites. saw the video, so I was yeah. like, okay, but it's I... It's got egg white in it. Really fluffy. Yep. Do it, it tastes better. Um, we flip recipes. That's it. Okay. Everything that he wants to eat, he can eat if I can flip the recipe. So what's a typical, give me like two typical dinners that you guys have. Two typical lunches, two typical breakfasts. What, what, what's something you guys would eat for each Okay, so breakfast is usually eggs. Um, mm -hmm. He has the biscuit. Mm -hmm. 
Um, he does our whole figs. See, I can figs, so he eats the whole mm -hmm. figs. There are very little sugar in them. He loves the figs. Or pears, because okay. I can my pears. Mm -hmm. Then for lunch, he does a hamburger, but no bread, no mm -hmm. nothing. All he does is the patty, the cheese, yep. the sides. We do uh, sweet potato fries mm -hmm. or potato fries, regular potato fries. Um, then for supper, it would be something like a meatloaf where we do um, some beef or any anything normal people would eat because he can eat meat. Okay. He can't eat coated meat. And so that's where the con meal comes in. We cut I tried the meat that. It works really good. Uh -huh. Thank so, you. I appreciate it because I actually tried that one and I will admit I was a little skeptical. <laughs> but, but it tasted really good. Really awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And so we just flip recipes. Okay. So anybody that's gluten free, flip your recipe. Yeah. I see it. So, um, do you find that when you started the gluten free cooking, your grocery bill went way up or? Yes, to start with because I didn't know how to cook gluten. Yes. Okay. I yeah. went in the grocery store, we're looking, reading labels, gluten free, gluten free. We got the gluten free cookies. Yep. You have five cookies for five dollars and you know, the whole nine yards. <laughs> we tried the breads, we tried everything. They taste bad. There's not enough that you can eat more than one or two meals. Yeah. Yeah. And so I started flipping recipes. And I there's a lot of trial and error. The yeah. first biscuits tasted awful. The first few <laughs> biscuits tasted awful. I have tried many recipes before yeah. I finally found one that tasted decent. Um, the cake recipes and stuff are easier. Because, uh, you know, and they, Bob's Red Mill makes a good flour. It's rice blend flour, bacon mix. I so use that for use a long for? time to bake cakes and everything. Oh, do you? Because I did, mm -hmm. didn't see it had good reviews, so I've never tried it. Um, Interesting. Yeah. It, but it you works, liked it. Yes, we liked huh. it. Uh, it, it works one-to-one -one flour to Bob's Red Mill. Okay. Just like you would flour. Hmm. Uh, it. does really well. Um, the one I use is called, is a blue label. Did really well. But we quit using that because the grains seem to still bother him. Oh, okay. So we've gotten away from the grains, went to the nuts. So you're all grain free now? He is. He is. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's what I found to be the most expensive is when people go, they say, oh, well, gluten free cooking is so expensive. No, mm -hmm. it's expensive when you're buying all the gluten free specialty items. And even if it says it's gluten free, Danny's main problem is chemicals. Oh, really? The gluten free yeah. still has a lot of the chemicals. Yeah, yeah it does. And yeah. so he has the issues, even though the gluten free may not be exactly the 90% of the problem. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So and you have to be the careful. The trick is to really start learning how to cook from scratch. Exactly. When you're gluten free. And do like I did. When we first started, I just only made potatoes and rice <laughs> for my starch. And then I started the almond flour. And so I shouldn't say I don't ever bake. I'll bake pumpkin mm -hmm. bread occasionally. But I don't do like baking like I used to. So that's where all the expense comes in is all those prepackaged items. Isn't this breeze nice? It is. It's really nice. Sorry, guys. We're but, sweating bullets here yeah, with the hot flashes. That feels really good. Um, but you don't start so complicated. People yeah. make it too, they want to make a gluten free sandwich they go bread to right it. off the top. Yeah. They go to the weird stuff. Yeah. Because if you go look up these recipes for gluten free, what do they have? 15 ingredients that you don't own in your house yep. yeah. and if you go purchase those 15 that cake just cost you 50 bucks yep. yeah and you get five bites yeah so that's what I, i'm going i don't want that and i don't want that and i don't want that because those ingredients are so expensive yeah, yeah cut it down to four to five ingredients that you can buy even though the almond flour is expensive in the store it's like 10 to 12 dollars a pound yeah i get it for five or a little less. Really? From mm -hmm. from the I'm I'm nuts. nuts? Oh wow. I'm a nut. Five dollars a pound mm -hmm. by buying twenty five pounds. By buying twenty five. Wow. And we that's... get the blanched almond flour. You can't even get nuts for that price. Nope. Mm -mm. Wow. So it's a good price. The blanched um, almond flour. Yes. Okay. They have unblanched and blanched. Some people want the, the husky stuff. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't want it in my cooking. But um it's great. Mm. So cool. people can do this. Yeah. They can, it starts simple, like you said. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Yeah, start simple and then work your way up. Yeah. And do you have gluten-free recipes in your cookbook? Yes. Okay. So it's what? Give them the title of your cookbook because I don't want to mess it up. Do you know the Cooking? title? <laughs> yeah, do I know the title? No, I mess it up every time too. Uh, 
cooking southern style with deep south homestead yes um right now there's not going to be any available because guess what i'm out yeah I'm that's out. a good problem to have but the law, before long maybe on the etsy store there will be some more okay. it may take me a couple of months because printing yeah. Thing. Okay, we'll put the description in the link below and then you guys you have can to check watch. it yeah. later because yeah. they're all going to the gathering. If they don't sell, there will be some on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you doing. live in South Mississippi, so your cooking is good. Mm -hmm. I have Southern cooking. I have discovered the uh, what's it? The stereotype, stereotype is true when it comes to Southern cooking. You guys make some good food. Down yeah. Here. Yeah, because you you've been at the Alderman's yeah, for a few yeah. days. You guys really make some good food down here. Yeah. And, and and it's, I think Thumb that's scratch. why people like our dining on a dike. Because it's normal. It's easy. Easy, regular food. And that's exactly the kind of recipes and you see, have. So, yeah. I'm, I've got dining on a dime down in my description, too. Because <laughs> I've got one of her cookbooks. So yeah. It's easy. And it's got more information. That's what, See, I have people yeah. say, why don't you do a cookbook and add this, this, and this, and this. And I'm like, I don't have time. I know. I get her cookbook. She's got all this stuff in there, and you can just sit and read the book. <laughs> I mean, who wants to read I a cookbook, know. right? But no, you will. And it's got yeah. every aspect of frugal living. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. And we tried to incorporate all that in there because yeah. people just make it too complicated. Exactly. And if they realize how simple it is, you can get in there and get going and save money. And we have people all the time. I went to the grocery store the first time after reading it, and I saved 150 bucks. Which were you spending in the first place if you saved 150 bucks? I know that's me. But they do, you yeah. know. So yeah, but and the cleaning, even yeah. the tips on mon uh, the kitchen, clean your dishes. See, I'm one of these fanatics. If I'm gonna film, the kitchen's got to be clean. Yeah, me too. I'm not yeah. doing a dirty kitchen. And Danny's going, well, let's just do. No, no, no. I gotta wash the dishes first. Really? Yeah. You know, I'm cleaning. Yeah. So even that makes you feel better. Yeah. You walk in your kitchen and it's clean. It does. First thing in the morning. You don't have dishes piled up. You can cook, which my husband cooks for me first thing in the morning. Oh. I don't get up and cook. Well, I have a dish fairy. His name's Mike. And oh, he helps out a lot. <laughs> so he doesn't cook breakfast, but he does have I do he have does dish, yeah, yeah. Do the dishes. So that's his his good department. But there, since so. we've been married, he does breakfast every day. Oh wow. So I have okay. breakfast. Good. So does he make the biscuits? No, I make them you up make ahead of time, time and he just heats. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Good. Mike but, has to defend himself and say that he doesn't cook breakfast because his wife is unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to sleep in, get up to the smell of coffee, yeah. and, stuff. and those little things with between a husband and wife yeah. are awesome. It, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, I, I know he is this. not up for rent or sale. No, he is We're not mine. <laughs> We're not getting rid of him. When you find a good man, you yeah. hang on to him. Yeah. They may be saying, "I've got two crazy women here." Yeah, here. exactly. But we know when we've got a good thing going. Exactly. Thank you. I know. I mean, really. Yep. And for all of you guys, there's a person behind this camera holding it that's you know without that we'd be holding selfies we'd going, going ah! <laughs> yeah like two selfie women looking at our ears because we're like yeah <laughs> isn't that a gorgeous sky i it's know so it is yeah the, it's really nice and cool down here because i have an issue with heat and humidity mm -hmm. and thank you for making the weather beautiful right i know here. i did it just for you because <laughs> you couldn't handle I it i know i appreciate yeah, it because she so. was worried about that yeah i was like Ugh. i was worried it was gonna rain well is it supposed to rain Possibly. Oh, okay. But we're inside. Yeah. Well, With air go. conditioning. Oh! We wow. have air conditioning in this house. We're, we're not off grid. <laughs> not off grid, just saying. Oh, do you want to be off grid with the air conditioning? Oh, heck no. No. I like <laughs> air conditioning. Yeah. I like air conditioning, washing machines, yep. dryers. I have them You guys are homesteaders, but you're not off grid. Look, yeah. when you're a homesteader, you've got to have some luxury. Yep. Because yeah. if not, if I had to wash my clothes with a scrub board, mm -hmm. all that would get done all week long is laundry. Yep. There yeah. would nothing else get done. Yep. Okay, if you have to cook all day every day, outside on a whatever, yep. on a I'm going to be cooking all day. Yeah. So the laundry doesn't get done. If I'm going to work in the garden, the laundry and the cooking don't get done. Yep. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta have a balance. So you gotta have some, some cute stuff. Yeah, you know, you have like some. washing machines and dryers and air conditioners. <laughs> they come in real handy, don't they? <laughs> Tar and I are not doing without the air conditioning no. until whatever happens happens, and then we may have to fend yes. ourselves. But if otherwise, the zombie apocalypse happens, we do without air conditioning.
come down here and stay with you guys and we'll fan each other. <laughs> no, we're hiring people because they're going to want food. That's true. And I have food and you fan me. That's true. Here's a jar of food. There you go. I got a plan. There I got a plan. You, go. you can go visit Danny and Wanda Where's at Danny? Deep South Homestead. Danny's over there on the porch talking. Watch some of her cooking videos if you guys want to do gluten free cooking. They're really, really, they are and good. Crazy days. Yeah. Crazy days. Are you doing more cooking on Crazy Days or Deep South? Most of my cooking is on Crazy Days. I only, okay. and, but I have a lot of my older, before Crazy Days was invented, I have a What's It Like to Eat at Deep South playlist because I did a whole. Let's see, how long did I do that? I, I can't remember. Did I do a month? I can't remember. Maybe a whole week. I think I did a whole week. What's it like to eat at Deep South? I showed breakfast, lunch, and supper oh, for a cool. solid week. Showed what we ate all week long. It's awesome. Group cool. of seven yeah. days videos. Oh, good. We also have a gluten-free playlist. We oh, have, okay. Um, Southern cooking playlist, I think. Okay. So I, I have three different playlists with cooking. Okay, good. On and then Crazy South. Days is D A Z E S E S. And it is days, not dazes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, just days. Just E? No S? No, it has an S. Oh, yeah. D A Z E S. But it's yeah. pronounced days. days. Yeah. Because, because I looked it up because Tommy Alderman kept saying crazy dazes. And I said it's not because it is politically correct. Well, is that right? Not politically. Gramma grammatically, grammatically correct. correct to say days because that's the plural of days. Okay, well there you go. Love See Tommy Alderman? <laughs> These will be in the description below, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Go subscribe to Crazy Days and Deep House South. Yeah. Deep South Homestead, which we are actually standing on their property. It's pretty cool in Mississippi. I've never been to Mississippi before. Yeah. Actually, it's pretty cool. I didn't. I've know. never been to Colorado before. So you haven't? No. You need to. Well, you'll never be able to come to Colorado. You have a homestead to take care of. But if I travel, I will. Come see us if you do. It's mm -hmm. really pretty. We have mountains there. I know. Danny loves mountains. But no trees. No trees. We can't live without trees. I know. We can't either. So that's why we're having issues. But <laughs> All right, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. And we will see you guys later. Visit us at livingatadime.com. Bye, guys.